আসসালামু আলাইকুম সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আপনাদের অনেক শুভেচ্ছা আজকের প্রোগ্রাম পলিটিক্স এন্ড বিয়ন্ডে আছি আমি এস এম আজন আপনারা যারা প্রতিনিয়ত দেখে থাকেন তারা হয়তো আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের সম্বন্ধে জানেন আর যারা নতুন আজকে তাদের জন্য বলে দিচ্ছি সেই প্রোগ্রাম আমরা আসলে আসলে পলিটিক্স পলিসি এবং লোকাল পলিটিশিয়ানদের নিয়ে আসি এবং সেগুলো নিয়ে কথা হয় অবভিয়াসলি আপনারা জানেন ইলেকশন আসতেছে সেটাকে নিয়ে আমরা লোকাল পলিটিশিয়ানদের নিয়ে আসি আর আজকে আসলে যেটা ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং একটা টিম নিয়ে এসেছি যারা আসলে বাংলাদেশের জন্য এবং বাংলাদেশি মানুষ যারা এখানে বসবাস করতেছেন তাদের জন্য নির্লসভাবে কাজ করে যাচ্ছেন আর তাদেরকে যদি আমি পরিচয় করে দিতে চাই আসলে ফার্স্ট আই হ্যাভ অ্যাভ গ্রুপ ফ্রম লেইবার গ্রুপ দ্যাস কল লেইবার ফ্রেন্ডস অফ বাংলাদেশ ফাদার রাইট সমতিন ভাই তাকে নতুন করে পরিচয় করে দেওয়া নাই আমাদের সমাজের সকলেরই নুন হি ওয়াজ এক্স কাউন্সিলর অ্যান্ড সেম টাইম জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি অফ লেইবার ফ্রেন্ডস অফ বাংলাদেশ থ্যাংক ইউ মতিন ভাই টু কাম হিয়ার থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ অ্যান্ড ইমিডিয়েট রাইট how can i introduce a uh, gentleman uh, he is working for bangladeshi community obviously sorry doshok ami hoyto bangla english mere bolte hobe he is a guest obviously he cannot speak uh, bengali for ami ami dekhi to ami bangla jani na bangla jani na thank you i'm a, i'm an um, i'm an um, howard doba ami uh, strategic advisor at canary wharf group ami uh, chair labor friends of bangladesh wow well done you do very good uh, i think you do better than me honestly no, uh, give it thank you very much thank you uh, howard to come here today and an immediate left if i start as uh, amader mehfooz ahmed he is the pres- uh, chairman of uh, conservative friends of bangladesh and thank you very much mehfooz bhai to come here how thank are you very much thank you very much for your kind okay. introduction and uh, further our uh, left amader abdus bhai and abdus hamid he is the vice chair of conservative friends of bangladesh assalamu alaikum azam bhai thank today. you thank you for having me on okay থ্যাংক ইউ ভিউ আপনারা জানেন আমাদের আসলে প্রতি প্রোগ্রামে একটা কুইজ দাঁড়া করে থাকে আর সেটাই আজকের গত সপ্তাহে যে কুইজ ছিল তার বিজয়ীর নাম ঘোষণা করা হবে ইফ আই রিকোয়েস্ট হাওয়ার্ড অ্যাকচুয়ালি হোয়াট উই ডু এভরি প্রোগ্রাম উই উই ডু এ কুইজ অ্যান্ড লাস্ট উইক দেয়ার এজ এ কুইজ হু ওয়াজ দ্য ফার্স্ট ফিমেল হেড অফ স্টেটস ইন 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 দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড অ্যান্ড দ্যাট অ্যান্সার উইল বি হেয়ার অ্যান্ড ইফ ইউ ডিক্লেয়ার দ্য উইনার ফ্রম হেয়ার প্লিজ We've got quite a lot of right entries here, so I'm going to yeah, dig in. Okay. And here is the... Uh, do you want to say what the answer was yeah, first? Yeah, please. Well, what was the answer? Know, okay. The name, and, uh, the, the, the name of the winner is Jamal Ali from Kent. Okay. Thank you very much, Jamal Ali, uh, brother, uh, for your contribution. And after the first question, the first question is, 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 she was the first uh, head of state uh, in the world as a female... Uh, ফিমেল গ্রুপ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ আর আজকের এই সপ্তাহে যেটা কুইজ সেটাকে আসলে আপনারা জানেন যে ফার্স্ট ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ারের প্রায় হান্ড্রেড ইয়ার্স আজকে সেটা বেশ ভালোভাবে পালন করতেছে অতি গাম্ভীর্যের মাধ্যমে আর সেটাকে কেন্দ্র করে একটা কুইজ দ্বারা করা হয়েছে আজকে দ্য কুইজ উইল বি হোয়াট ডেট ওয়াজ দ্য ট্রিটি অফ ভার্সাইল আপনারা জানেন যে ট্রিটি হয়েছিল সেটা হয়েছিল আসলে অফিসিয়ালি ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ার ওয়ান ক্লোজ হয়েছে আর সেটার ডেট হলো ওয়ান টোয়েন্টি এইথ জুন নাইনটিন জুলাই নাইনটিন নাইনটিন অফ ডিসেম্বর নাইনটিন আপনারা আপনাদের সঠিক উত্তর পাঠাবেন টিভির কর্নার আপনি দেখতে পারবেন ইমেল অ্যাড্রেস পিএনবি অ্যাট চ্যানেল আই ইউরোপ ডট টিভি থ্যাংক ইউ দর্শক আসলে আমরা সময় নষ্ট করে এখন আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের মূল অংশে চলে যাব আর এই প্রোগ্রামে আমাদের যে এই সেগমেন্টে সেটা হলো political opinion if i start uh, from howard first please uh, do you have anything any news any event incident or anything political it could be anything that bring your attention last 7 days or 15 days and you can share with us please well i think the the interesting thing over the last 7 days has been the government's uh, complete disarray over the issue of a european arrest warrant um, and here is one of the the big problems for uh, david cameron Um, he himself is quite pro-European. Um, he knows that there is a benefit to Britain being in Europe. He knows that things like the European arrest warrant, which means that if we in Britain are chasing a criminal, and that criminal goes to France or Germany, the French or German police can arrest him because the British police are looking for him. Okay. Um, if the French or German police are chasing somebody, let's say a murderer or um, a rapist escapes from prison in Germany, and he travels to Britain, Yep. They don't have to fill in a lot of paperwork to, to get him arrested here because the arrest warrant can be issued and it applies to all jurisdictions. It's just to get rid of paperwork. It's an opportunity for police to work, work faster. And he knows these things are good things. But inside his party, 
there are some people who are so anti-European, so horrified by anything with the word Europe in it, that they will oppose this idea of being able to arrest criminals that come to Britain from foreign countries just so that they can say, we turn down something that brings our justice system in line with other European justice systems. And last night in the House of Commons, they were too scared to ask their own MPs to support this government measure, and so they ducked the question. A complete chaotic tragedy for our democracy. Uh, and that means that the Labour Party, it's down to the Labour Party, the responsible party, who are going to bring this question back and allow people to vote on it next week. But one thing, Howard, I need to say is, as you said, David Cameron is a pro-EU. Actually, uh, the, well, uh, he was never uh, clear with that as a, he's a pro-European. But at the same time, it was on the parliament, actually. MP voted for him or so what... what well, actually, they didn't. Um, because there's, there's the, a part they of... They didn't. Let's, re let's remember that um, at the last election, uh, the Conservatives did not win the election. Um, there was a hung parliament where the uh, Conservative Party was the largest single party, but the majority of MPs are not from the Conservatives. And the Conservatives are only in power because they did a deal with the but Liberal Democrats got, uh, to Again, he got mandates yesterday support from, from all of the parties, actually. It's not only from Conservative, but from uh, one party. So, so no, all, all so, the parties so, support that. So all the leaders of the parties support that. that. He managed to convince other people and, and, and as running country as well. I'm sure he didn't get mandate to run the country alone by himself. I was he didn't. To, uh, uh, there was, uh, there was no government. there was no mandate at the general election for a lot of the policies that they've carried out. The bedroom tax was not in the manifesto. Uh, raising tuition fees. Uh, was it was specifically the Liberal Democrats said they would never do it. The Conservatives brought it forward. Uh, reorganisation of the National Health Service. They specifically said they were going to give the NHS more money and not reorganise it. Uh, so a whole load of things that they thought on. They've got no the, mandate. The, the, for. The, the, yeah, no, All right. Let's, let's keep this into yeah, the you question. can jump on. Yeah, okay. I think what's, what's, uh, a song comes to mind, Stand By Your Man. It's obvious. Yeah. It, it, it seems very, very obvious. I think the most crucial part of the news this week has to be Labour's inability to stand by their man. Um, it, they've, they are, they've reaffirmed what we've all thought um, uh, publicly, that uh, Ed Miliband is now a lame duck. Um, backbenchers, Labour Party backbenchers are coming out openly and saying that they want to see Ed stand down because of They're his inept, single, because of his inept, oh yes they have, yes, uh, backbenchers have, well, uh, 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 Simon Daniel was, uh, Simon uh, uh, came, came out and uh, came out and basically said, yes, and not only that, Chuka also came out and when he was asked to reaffirm his support for uh, Ed Miliband, he mistakenly said David Miliband, so we know what he's thinking as well, because he, does, he doesn't support Ed's view, and we can understand why, because under the leadership of Ed Miliband, Labour Party has just got no policy whatsoever. Everything that they've come out with seems to be just a fabrication of the actual truth itself. Um, if you look under the Conservative Party, if you look at infrastructure, where, where we've promised investment in infrastructure, in terms of taxation, we've basically said that in the next parliament that we will, re we will reduce, we will increase the personal rate to 12,500, we will increase the uh, higher rate uh, yes, band. I'm sure so you can, you can, I can, I can, right. I can give I, you a barrage I, of policies under the Conservative Party. Maybe we'll have time to discuss our details course, and all yeah. of this economy we wanted to. So I'll come back to Mutin Bai. If I start up uh, uh, this way, yeah. yeah, but the, the Howard actually he was uh, mentioning about uh, David Cameron. Uh, how he is playing the European issues. And is it, well, some people are thinking, obviously, like Howard was thinking, as David Cameron actually is sort of, is a panic or, or uh, there is no clear direction for the people, as he mentioned pro European, and at the same time, he is backbencher and, and lots of MPs, even ministers, they are concerned with this UKIP. Uh, earthquake, as Nigel Farage mentioned, and as you know, it's 20th of November is coming uh, by election. So, how do you defend your leader uh, with, the, with the question of uh, Howard? And, I think, and, I think and the Prime Minister has a clear direction in, for, for the Euro. He has said that during, um, with, with the, if the Conservative win the next government, he'll give a clear referendum. It's but, either in or out. But, it's, but, it's but don't forget, that. And then you have MPs yeah. in all parties yeah. who can be pro, who can be anti, but the clear direction is you. It's gonna, we, we are going to give the re referendum to the public. But don't forget, as, as uh, Howard mentioned, actually, Prime Minister yesterday, he was in Lords, actually. He came with his white bow tie and, and jump on the parliament and has to uh, bring all of the people from all of the aisles. And, 
and, and he shows actually pro European at the same time um, as, as, as he mentioned at the same time he was telling oh I'm giving people opportunity to do referendum and is it, is it not sort of uh, people uh, he's just trying to convince because of his by-election and a threat of Nigel Farage if he... I think, no, I think well, he's, he's kind of made it clear he wants to renegotiate the powers with the, with the EU in order for us, if we were to, if, they were, if the Conservatives were to form the government in 2015, to, to give you a clear re referendum. Okay, I'll ask you a question. All right. Yeah. What powers does he want to renegotiate? The budget. The law. The, he wants to renegotiate. We, that's right, yeah. We've kind of did, uh, demolished the, uh, the Human Rights Act to the British well, that's, that's not a, that's not a, a article of EU membership. Let's, 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 let's put things into perspective here. Um, we are one of the most, we are under, under the stewardship of the Conservative Party. We have now become one of the fastest growing uh, EU nations uh, in Europe at the moment. Our, our economy is due to grow ten times faster than, than France. We, we, we are, we, we, this year alone, the uh, um, European Commission have said that our economy will grow by 3.1%. That's faster than Spain, that's faster than Germany, that's faster than any development. That's no coincidence. That's, that's been because of the uh, stewardship of the Conservative Party, the careful budgetary control that we've had. Under the, under the Labour Party, we've had an uncontrollable deficit. Um, if the Labour Party were to come into power, we would have tax increase, death tax increase, home tax increase, graduate tax increase. There, there'd be a barrage of uh, tax increase. It's no wonder that six months before an election, the Labour Party have openly come out and say that we, we have no confidence in, in Ed. There, there is absolutely no confidence. Okay. And that's suicidal yeah. from... Let, 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 uh, David Cam Cameron, uh, his approach to Europe uh, has, you know, je is jeopardizing the, the financial sector. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, it's a pr you never go and threaten Europe and all the other countries uh, and then try to negotiate by saying, I'm going to pull out from uh, Europe. I mean, I, I, th I think his credibility in Europe is weakened. He's a very weak person. He's not going to be listened to by other major authorities. Our economic you know, progress has been mainly due to the Europe, because our major financial sectors and, and dealings are with Europe as well. Without Europe, we would certainly jeopardize this. I would certainly would say that um, one of the key things for us now is to ensure that uh, w the progress, and it's been a very slow progress. Let's be honest about it. It's been a very slow progress. And when, you, when you're right at the bottom, the only way is up. You know, when you're like right hitting the ground, then you just, it's going to go up, uh, you know, you can't go any lower. So it's so really important for us now is to ensure that, you know, the, the politics of um, Mr. Cameron uh, has been short-termism, where he's trying to win an election by making sure he, he kind of, you know, uh, cocktailing a policies which, uh, to win um, some UK voters. That's what he's doing. And that just shows in the parliament last night. Remember that um, the 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 reason why we are where we are at the moment is uh, of the astuteness of our economic policy. Only a year and a half ago, only a year and a half ago, the European Commission openly stated that um, uh, uh, UK's uh, need to control the deficit is having an adverse effect on how it's doing. Yet that same European Commission has now come out and said that we are growing faster than what was thought. And there's no coincidence whatsoever. That is directly because of our economic policy. That is directly because of, of, of the policies in terms of controlling the uh, deficit itself. It's in terms of our taxation policy, in terms of our fiscal uh, policy. There is no coincidence whatsoever. If a, Labour com uh, if a Labour Party was to come into power with an inept leader who has no confidence of the country, not even the confidence of his own party members, which in itself is, is an absolute joke, then you're, you're, you know, they're, they're, then you're absolutely right. The city will react in a negative way. The city isn't reacting in a negative way because of what's happening in Europe. They're looking at uh, UK as a no, safety no, zone. They they're looking at U uh, UK as a safety zone. Yeah, I mean, Countries I'm, from I'm, all over the world I'm, are actually I'm investing working. in Europe because why? They see it as a safe zone. They see it as a no, safe bet. And the, the, the whole investment in Britain is, is at risk because the biggest political risk facing the UK is that David Cameron is planning to have a referendum on Europe, whatever he's able to negotiate in the meantime,
He has not said what he wants to negotiate. He hasn't said which of the European uh, Union's uh, powers he wants to change. And we're going into a referendum blind with an enormous avalanche of anti-EU rhetoric from the government, which is very irresponsible. And businesses across Europe and in America looking at the UK and saying, you know what, we won't invest. Let's wait and see what happens in the European referendum. Can I just nail this thing about uh, Ed Miliband? First of all, not a single member of parliament, not a single member of parliament has publicly called for Ed to stand down. And in fact, 100 PPCs today across the country, including um, our own Tulip Sadiq and Rupa Huck, um, Bangladeshi Labour MPs in winnable um, target seats, um, which you've got none of, um, stood uh, up and they said they supported Ed Miliband. Um, not a single MP has called for him to stand down. And, and here's the but, thing. Here's but, the but, thing. But, 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 uh, Howard, I we are. I, Labour, I, Party, I, I, uh, Labour Party is ahead, is ahead in the polls. Is ahead of the polls. We're going to get Who wants to vote for Labour? Then we want to vote We're talking about different polls. Cause I, I, I read up on an, another poll where the Conservatives were actually leading by a point. Uh, just going back on the uh, number of MPs, I read an article the other day that uh, there were 20 shadow ministers uh, who are prepared to call mm. on Yeah, but, that's, but nobody can name who they are. So all right, Zander, this is all that, made up by the press. Uh, uh, I'm sure people will just fight. Five, 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 five minutes before the yeah, general election, on, why, 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 which they might win. I ask you one thing? Sorry. I know this is a very hot topic. Obviously, both leaders are just wobbling. As you know, election coming, by election coming, leadership. We have the support of our own parties, though. If I go back to the EU. Not on Europe. Gentlemen, it's time is very short, actually. One thing I... It's, I know it's a five years ago there was no sort of momentum there, so we have to come out from the EU or inside, <coughs> stay with EU. But now there is a reason, obviously, election coming. Do you think this EU referendum or in and out, this question is coming for political reason or business reason? Oh, uh, entirely political. There is no economic justification for withdrawing from the EU. Right. It would okay. massively damage okay. business. Uh, business. Uh, my, my just about, that just about, about internal sure. politics Can I and the Tory quick, party. Quick, 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 or, or okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. What of your team by team? No other party is actually doing that. Uh, I think I think by putting that in the manifesto, the public are getting their choice. You know, of course, that's right. So which which the Labour Party are failing to do? But I do feel I, I think what you have to remember. Sometimes you know p politicians are elected because you know you know the consequences of uh, in in and out and the benefit. I think people, when you're prime minister, you do things in the interest of the British people, interest of the country. Sometimes going to so war it may not be popular. Let me give you an example. Yeah. You know, going to war, not Tony Blair did. But, Tony Blair did. But, but, but then, time, but but then people do it because it's in the interest it's, of the no, country. Whatever. Okay, is it fair? But, but yeah. Tony Blair didn't. It's Tony Blair did it in, in his own interest. We know that because it's charging for £1,000 after the mic. I'm not sure in and out at a business reason or political reason. I mean, both sides, they're politicians. They will, they love to talk. And we will come back after a little break. Stay us, we stay with us. সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আমরা আসলে আমাদের ছোট্ট বিরতির পরে ফিরে এসেছি আপনারা যে অ্যাকচুয়ালি হিটেড ডিবেট ছিল সেই ডিবেটে আবার চলে যেতেছি আমাদের এই সেগমেন্টে যেটা আছে সেটা হলো फ्रेंड्स অফ বাংলাদেশ ইনফ্লুয়েন্সেস ইন ইউকে এন্ড ইন বাংলাদেশ অ্যাজ ওয়েল আপনি জানেন দে আর রিপ্রেজেন্টিং फ्रॉम লেবার फ्रेंड्स অফ বাংলাদেশ দিস মাই লেফট সাইড জেন্টলম্যান দে আর রিপ্রেজেন্টিং অ্যাকচুয়ালি কনজারভেটিভ फ्रेंड्स অফ বাংলাদেশ বোথ অফ देम আর ওয়ার্কিং ফর বাংলাদেশ এন্ড বাংলাদেশি পিপল ইন ইউকে well that's i believe i think people will believe as well and if i start uh, this time with mr chairman from you as the chair of, of conservative friends of bangladesh what is your mission vision and what is it actually because lots of people they don't know maybe about uh, conservative friends of bangladesh what do you do for the people of bangladesh or for the people of bangladesh who are living here what is your activities and who you are, etc.? Well, firstly, Conservative Friends of Bangladesh was actually set up in 2006. 
uh, by a group of uh, local Bangladeshis and, and, uh, and main MP, who is our president at the moment. Um, we have over 300 members and supporters across the country. We have over um, 10 regional branches across the country, mm -hmm. um, not just in London. Our aim is to basically build a stronger relationship with the British Bangladeshi community and also the people of Bangladesh um, and to support our MPs in understanding the issues that the Bangladeshi people here in this country face as well as in Bangladesh. Okay, thank you. Um, shortly, it's, it's very nice, uh, clear answer. And if I come to Mr. Chairman here as well, as a friend of uh, Labour friends of Bangladesh, where are you standing? What is your activities and what do you do for the people of Bangladesh or the for people of Bangladesh who are living in the UK? Well, your, your viewers will have seen earlier on things that we violently disagree over, where we've got a big difference of opinion. But actually on this issue, on support for the Bangladeshi community, everybody in this panel is in the same job, which is that we believe that um, the Bangladeshi uh, people in the UK, Bang British Bangladeshis, um, have a role to play in, uh, in politics, uh, that they should be encouraged to run for office, they should be encouraged to network, and that also there are special issues that are important to the British Bangladeshi community that should be raised at a national level. Um, also, it's about love for the country of Bangladesh. Um, I was explaining just before we came on air that I'm 1 16th Bangladeshi, so okay. I've got a little bit of, tiny, tiny bit of probably blood, maybe maybe <laughs> some... So at least, at least some blood blood on your vein. But, you know, um, there is, it's, it's one of the most interesting countries in the world because so many... Uh, so many interesting ideas come out of Bangladesh. It's such a big important part of the culture in the UK as well with the Bangladeshi businesses in nearly every constituency of Britain has a Bangladeshi business. The catering business, the restaurant business has, has given the Bangladeshi people a massive platform and in fact a lot of places you go the high street depends on that Indian restaurant mm. which is nearly always more than 75% of them. Um, more than 12,000 restaurants around the country run by British Bangladeshis. Um, so it's a hugely important part of the UK economy and we want to make sure that politicians understand that, that they understand the country and the people, and the culture, and that there's a channel of communication between politicians. Okay. Have you travelled Bangladesh? I have. I've been to Bangladesh about six times. Six so times? About okay. six times. So I think um, this is very, very is um, That shows you I, you are a really good friend of Bangladesh. In fact, last... Yeah, Bhai, you were uh, just uh, shaking your head, yeah, actually. If no, you want to share I, something, I was please. I just going to agree with um, Howard, but also just add the fact that one of the key uh, aims uh, of uh, the uh, Labour Friends of Bangladesh is to help uh, get more representation of councillors, of MPs, uh, and also to have more Bangladeshis across the uh, structures. But uh, also um, uh, that the, the MPs or the parliamentarians in the country and the politicians understand the Bangladeshi community uh, to make sure that these do's and don'ts, making sure that they are aware of that, uh, also facilitating links between Bangladesh and, and here to make sure that those people who are becoming parliamentarians understand where there's a large proportion of Bangladeshis, mm -hmm. their constituencies, go to Bangladesh, link up, uh, uh, find out exactly where people... So understanding the, where we've come, the history and the, and the culture, so, that, so they're able to better represent those uh, individuals. And so, so when, when, when they're making, they're, they're the major policy decision makers. And if they understand then culture and understand all the things, then the decision and the policy development that happens, they're quite, quite in tune with that. Okay, that's good. Um, if I ask, uh, uh, dear uh, uh, Abdus Bhai, mm -hmm. do you have any projects or anything that you are doing or you have that? That we've done. That you have done yeah, in um, through, yeah, through Conservative Friends of Bangladesh, one thing, and I, um, one thing whether we differ from Labour Friends of Bangladesh or we, or we probably may do the same thing. We, we do a lot of social action projects both in the UK and in Bangladesh as well. Uh, we have been to Bangladesh on three occasions to carry out um, social action based projects with uh, various different reputable charities in Bangladesh. So, you know, uh, I think in 2010 if I'm not mistaken 2011, 2011 we took um, both members of parliament and um, parliamentary candidates to Bangladesh to work on various different uh, charity based projects so we did uh, we worked on a school renovating a school um, we, visi uh, we visited uh, various different women's shelters as well um, we uh, gave advice on um, issues uh, relating to poverty in the country as well, which was extremely successful. And we're only 
because of the direct work that we've done with Bangladesh, the party now recognizes Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh and the project that we do as an official uh, social action project. So now that's per permanently defined. And then that's primarily because of the actions that defined we've carried by, out by the, the Conservative Party. party. Correct. By the party. Yeah. 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 It's actually it's called the Project Maya. Maya. And in 2012, it was called Mutual Project Shafla. Now. I mean, the first trip was it's actually, um, the first trip was, uh, we, we actually took seven parliamentarians, including a cabinet minister, who, uh, who was our party chairman, along with 40 <coughs> other grassroots um, activists. So it kind of gives them the opportunity to understand about Bangladesh, about international development and social action projects. And it's one of the things where our MPs kind of have uh, an, an understanding too. And I think on that uh, team, we had Nikki Morgan, who is our education secretary. And one of the things she actually did was she actually, we, she, she worked with, with, with a charity in Bangladesh called BRAC. And, and they Brack. have, Brack, that's right, BRAC. Is it the BRAC? Is it a big BRAC? BRAC, that's right, yeah. BRAC, that's right, yeah, BRAC. And they have she is involved with that? Or? No, no, she's not involved with that. She got involved through our project. Okay. So when, right. when she came back to London, she actually followed her work. And she, she's actually advocating um, the projects for uh, BRAC okay. and she's done a lot of fundraising activities locally as well. So that's the sort of thing we've kind of done okay. as part that's of the good. social action. Uh, Martin, do you have our, 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 mm. how are, do you have any uh, local or, or any projects or activities that you have done or you are doing well, or you got a plan? Well, um, if, if I could just say, I mean, obviously Howard could talk about the trip with, with shadow mm. ministers and uh, shadow MPs that was um, that he, he, he was part of. Yep. Um, you want to say that now? I could then. Well, I was going to say. I mean, I, I think what the what the Conservatives did there was really good. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very it's a very good project. We can't we we wouldn't want to criticise that. We you know more power to your elbow. Um, what we have done um, is we uh, we've concentrated on uh, supporting our candidates who are getting elected now to uh, cabinet level positions around Sorry, the UK. Sorry, just, to, and so just on, to interrupt so. you. I will I will come back immediately. Okay. I got a call yeah, actually. Just to got a yeah. call. I will definitely. Salam alaikum, caller. Ji, salam alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Kya bolte hain? Shubho shonda. Shubho. Aami khub bhalo achi. Apna oti did ke amar pokkot ke good evening to everyone and shubho shonda to everyone. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, खूब सुंदर पार्टिसिपेट कर चुना। What is your name, brother? Sorry, if you don't mind. खूब ही बालो होते हैं। आमी साधक बोल चिलम। Okay, please. Uh, what is your question? Question ना। आमी शुद्ध हमारे कंजर्वेटिव लेबर फ्रेंड्स शोभर का चाहे हमारे एक टी क्वेश्चन। शुद्ध ये तो कुछ जानते चाहते चीजे। टावर हैमलेट से तो था। आमादर ए ही देश थे कि ब्रिटिश बांग्लादेश कोरार जन्नो की ऐसो पाया तरा कंजर्वेटिव पार्टी या लेबर पार्टी मिले जे शुरू करे च में और एक विरुद्ध दे जे ऑफर प्रोचारो ना ये था कि आमादे लीडरशिप के किल कोरा अच्छा थैंक यू वेरी मच ब्रदर गुड क्वेश्चन आई वोल कम बैक में भी इस आवर थर्ड सेगमेंट एक्सोल ए सेगमेंट हम दर्शने बोलते सी Absolutely. You are right. What you have asked. Thank you very much. What will I do? I will come back maybe in the third segment um, and we will discuss. Definitely I will note your, uh, your question and um, I will bring it there. Thank you, brother. Stay with us. Definitely we will come back with that. Uh, there's uh, some uh, different question. Uh, we will come back maybe later on. Yes, uh, uh, Howard, if you can carry on. I was on say, um, we, uh, the last trip we went on, um, Simon Dantrick, um, uh, Shabana Mahmood, who's now Shadow Minister, um, John Biggs. Uh, we went out to... Um, to Bangladesh and we went to Silet to meet people in, in villages. Um, we went to um, see uh, the industry, we went to meet uh, trade unionists, and, and then we, in Dhaka we met some uh, senior politicians as well. And I did warn all the MPs and candidates when we take them out, I say, um, I warn you, you don't go to Bangladesh once. So if you go once, you'll fall in love with the country and you'll definitely end up coming back. Okay. And, and we, we're <laughs> very... Cool. We're very fortunate that we have um, over 20 of the leading uh, MPs um, in the Labour Party, uh, from Shadow Cabinet, uh, from Douglas Alexander, um, through to some of the candidates we have now, um, are patrons of Labour Friends of Bangladesh, um, and have promised, each of our patrons promises to do one thing a year for us. Um, and it's, so uh, that's, it's that's very, very good that uh, you got uh, support from uh, we've got support higher, at all levels uh, of the higher, party uh, leadership um, and we are starting to get um, you know we've been we've been very successful obviously historically um, you know we never take anything for granted but historically 
um, most Bangladeshi people in the UK have supported the Labour Party. Um, the Labour Party has been a vehicle for people uh, to get involved in politics historically. We're not taking any votes for granted. I know you know that you know, lots of people support your vote. But that means we have, we have had you know, Bangladeshi council leaders, um, including in areas with not a majority Bang Bangladeshi population. Um, we've got one of the best performing councils in the country. In so how many MPs or uh, how many finance, uh, councillors uh, you got from um, uh, we've, uh, Labour? We've, uh, we've got about 100 councillors across the country now. How many were there, Ruben? To be honest, as um, ha Howard said, historically Bangladesh has voted Conservative, uh, sort of Labour. But it, things are changing. Our work within the Bangladeshi community has probably realised that the values of Conservative are, are, are the values of Bangladeshis. And as, as a result, okay. as I said, we yeah, started off yeah, with 10 yeah, members, yeah, but we've yeah. got over yeah. 300 members. And let, 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 not only um, that, if, as a result of uh, Conservative Friends of Bangladesh's work, if you look at uh, the direct effect that we've had, or, uh, let's, say, let's take for Bangladesh, the 1-11 the uh, elections in Bangladesh. As a result of the intervention of the Conservative Party, various different ministers and uh, MEPs, we have been able to successfully negotiate the uh, successful 111 elections as well. And that, that's uh, even the Prime Minister of uh, Bangladesh gave her thanks to Charles Tanak uh, MEP. The Rana that's Plaza... That's your uh, tulips, uh, aunt. The Rana thanks Plaza... Allah. The Rana Plaza disaster, as a result of that particular disaster, Anne Main and various different uh, MPs went to Bangladesh and um, launched an investigation, uh, which, as a result of which, a uh, a, uh, um, uh, a detailed report uh, was uh, issued um, recommending measures. And these measures are now, as a result of the Conservative Party and the Conservative Friends of Bangladesh's work, are now being enforced in Bangladesh, where retailers now have to, retailers from the UK now have to speak to uh, manufacturers closely on health and safety Good requirements. Work, and these are, this is work that's been uh, done as a result of the Conservative Party. Also with the support of yes. the party. Oh, no, well, without, and the, the trade unions yes. played a big Yes, of course, yeah. Um, uh, can, if can if I, I just come, uh, Howard and, 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 and Motin, by uh, both of you, uh, that is a good thing. Is you got uh, obviously, gentleman, he was talking. He got he. They did some little influence in Bangladesh to change this working environment and and all of this thing after the disaster. So, if you compare with them, I think you were in in better condition because you got MP. Actually, she is standing we, from. Yeah. Um, um, uh, from we, the current prime minister, we, niece, I believe. We, so, we've got, we've so got okay, I don't want. To, no, no, definitely not. I don't want to go there. But what yeah. I'm asking is, do you have any influence, or what have you done to bring good democracy, or good situation, good governance, or or say, uh, human rights and all of the activities in Bangladesh? Do you have any influences in the uh, current government or previous government? You have any example of this, sir? Look, I mean, the fact is, what we're trying to do is make sure that. Um, um, the, the relationship between the UK government and, and, and Bangladesh is a very cordial one uh, and make sure that Bangladesh and UK benefits in mutually uh, from opportunities. One of the key things for, for us is to make sure, I mean one of the things that we've been focusing on is trying to make sure that you have uh, you know, MPs, more MPs from Bangladesh origin. We, we've got you know, some, some uh, like Tulip, um, um, Rupa, Rupa. Uh, our Rashnara is our Rami. president, Anwar Babu, Barastan Babu. And so we, we've got people that are candidates uh, and with a bit of work, and w they will become uh, MPs in the future. And the key thing then is to make sure that, uh, you know, when the issue of Bangladesh comes in, then there are people that automatically have links. Oh, by, I, will, I will come back. Sorry, uh, Howard. I got, I got I a call, actually. Just, okay. I will come back straight away. Salaam alaikum, Kola. Walaikum salam. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Um, basically, I just like to point out a few things. They're fantastic to, to see um, conservative supporters on your left hand side. Uh, I don't think Channel I normally brings them. And, uh, gentlemen, you're right. Um, traditionally, Labour Party, 80s and 70s, majority of the Bengalis, they used to support Labour Party. But don't forget, uh, we're young generation. We, we know Mr. Me are making time coming out from that. We are entrepreneurs, we are we, in the housing market, yeah, you know, uh, we, we, internationally we are a young generation in the in, in, in UK, they are doing well, we are graduates, you know, so it's fantastic to see a uh, gentleman you left, left aside for conservatives. Traditionally, I'm a, I'm a conservative supporter. Um, what I'd like to add it as well, um, 
at the moment, what's happening in Tower Hamlet um, is highlighting Bangladeshi, British Bangladeshi, in wrong manner as corrupt, um, corrupt, uh, I don't know, corrupt people. Well, all of us are not corrupt people. Whether it's Labour Party or Tory, whatever, whoever wins the next election, I'd like to see somebody in international and uh, national government instead of, instead of independent mayor or, or, or somebody independent. I just want to uh, find out both of the party side for their, their, their views on that. Again, brother, uh, as you mentioned, Tower Hamlet, this issue, obviously, Bangali, uh, Bangladeshi people here living as as, uh, uh, as uh, both of them are mentioning. So I think we will have little opportunity to speak about this thing. And uh, there is another caller. Uh, he was asking a related question. And uh, I think we will come back later on with this. Yeah. 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 Paul, Paul yeah. answers that because, yeah. um, you know, I'd like, to, I'd like to pay tribute to, um, to Roshnara uh, Ali as the first uh, British Bangladeshi MP because... Um, I think she's played a very important role in Bangladesh as a critical friend uh, to the Bangladesh government and, uh, and indeed to the, to the caretaker government and to the previous government. Um, you know, she's been engaged there. She's been an unofficial envoy um, of UK Parliament to, to Bangladesh and she's engaged on some of the issues of human rights, of women's rights particularly, um, and, and again particularly around the Rana Plaza disaster and trying to link up the, um, the families uh, of those... Uh, people who were uh, killed and injured in that disaster because you know often you know what happens is you get a lot of politicians talking about stuff and people forget the people that are directly involved so she did a, she's done a lot of work behind the scenes and also as a shadow uh, international development <coughs> minister um, I can say that uh, with with some certainty that if if there's a Labour government after the next election there will be a British Bangladeshi minister now I hope not all the selections are finished yet, so I hope that our colleagues on the other side of the table will get their names forward and get selected for Conservative seats. And, and let's see some Conservatives. Let's, 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 let's put some things into perspective here as well, Howard. I mean, obviously, the, the, the Bangladeshi uh, uh, population in this country fare in excess of half a million people, thereabouts. Yeah, we we thereabouts, agree on that. Thereabouts. Now, the Labour Party has enjoyed the uh, support of the Bangladeshi community for the last 20 years. And let's put it, things into perspective. You have one MP from the Bangladeshi community, Rushnara Ali. No other MPs. Yes, you may have a hundred, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's actually yeah. and, and that's thank George Galloway who actually uh, came in and exactly. brought that. Uh, so so let, let, let's, not, let's not get ahead so of ourselves. Let's not get bit. ahead of ourselves. We, we, right, yeah. You still haven't done enough for the Bangladeshi community to put enough uh, uh, Bangladeshis into power as MPs. Yes, you have Anwar Babu as selected for uh, Hamble Hempstead, which wherever he is, which we believe he's going to win. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, uh, Tulip Siddiqui, she's in another marginal seat uh, no, no, as, as well. Yeah. As well. But Let's, uh, uh, it's our seat. It's our seat. Rupa Hock. Okay, so, so Again, 20, sitting, uh, 20, year, 20 years in, where yeah. the Labour uh, uh, Party has enjoyed our votes and taken our votes for granted, you have one MP. Yeah, One MP. Well, hold a minute. Let's, yes, let's put I don't deny. I, don't I, don't don't yeah. I just wanted yeah, to add on. on about the Labour Party taking the Bangladeshi votes for granted. I was at a Bangladesh Caterers Association dinner yeah. uh, just two Sundays ago. Yeah. And it was surprising to see the Labour leader, Ed Miliband, there. I yeah. mean, the Conservative Party leader, us. David Cameron, when he was in opposition, he attended the British Curry Awards. When yeah. he became the Prime Minister, he, he actually attended the British Curry Awards. That's Why has he taken the Labour Party, 20 years to attend well, uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the biggest okay. uh, events in, in the Bangladesh, Bangladesh calendar. Bangladesh. Okay, Just one, sorry. David Cameron, when he went to uh, the British Curry Award, this is when he was a Prime Minister. He was actually there for a couple of hours. He actually went into the kitchen. He met mm. the chef. Labour, Labour Party leader? 15 minutes. I think, I think he was there for 15 minutes. A five-minute speech. And uh, well, a Maybe he will come. Was and, he there? And, was your leader there? Was leader there? He was not invited. Yeah. He was not invited. Yeah. Of yeah, course he was invited. invited. I will, I will, I'll, I'll, how about I'll come back? I got a caller. I got a caller. I got a caller. I got a caller. Slava Gum Gawla. How about I'll come back? So this is where we are. Slava Gum Kolar. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yeah, this is Shokat from Manchester. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. This is Shokat from Manchester. Thank you very much, brother, all the way to Manchester, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to say, um, I mean, to identify, to find a solution to a problem, you need to identify the problem first. In Bangladesh, there is three major problems in Bangladesh. One is the country runs from one extreme to another. Either you, you got it or you haven't got it. 
either you're well educated or you're not. Two is the corruption is rife, and and three the country ha has a major problem with land disputes. About 85 percent of all court cases are with land disputes. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the problem because Bangladesh lacks middle classes, and wherever you, whenever you, wherever you, the world there is a lack of middle classes, you have similar trend of problems. Now, to solve this. Bangladesh needs inward-looking businesses. So what are you guys, friends of Bangladesh, doing to encourage businesses to go and invest in Bangladesh? <laughs> Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you, brother. If I, if I come on uh, my right side, uh, well, the gentleman was talking about this corruption and all of this in Bangladesh. Um, I need to ask, because we had two calls from other uh, uh, just earlier. Uh, they were asking about the Tower Hamlets, and obviously Tower Hamlets we are running. Is there any, any connection you think with the corruption and these are these sorts of thing in Tower Hamlets as well as as run by Bangladeshi thing? I think I think I think I mean first of all I just want to just address some of the points that was raised about look it, when you when you go into um, I mean nobody takes votes for granted and I tell you I, I, you know no, nobody do that and no party should do that uh, I, and one thing for sure is that the Labour Party over this over years uh, the infrastructure if you look at people who are currently who are members of the party. They've uh, not only voted, but they became members. They are in the infrastructure. They are committee chairs, they're secretaries. Yeah, across the country, uh, we have uh, people across the country now feel confident enough to stand for election. So the first stage is to become a, a councillor. They become Lord Mayors. They, they, the things are happening across the country. So we, we have Bangladeshis who are mayors and, 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 and deputy leaders across the country. It's happening slowly. So, so what, we're, what we're next days is okay. to make sure Mutina that Bhai. across the country we Are, get parliamentary. Uh, I think I think the issue about um, the, the there are clearly a lot of Bangladeshis who want to put something back to their country and that's happening. Uh, but there are some issues and I've I've heard that in the in BCA right. event where in people fact, say maybe I will come up with this. Uh, I, I got the call. Yes, I got the call. Obviously, call is a specific, specific, specific solution. Yes. Uh, uh, when, when we were in Bangladesh last time, uh, we actually met with. Um, Mohit, the, the, uh, the finance minister, finance minister. Finance minister. Um, and talked about having a more secure way for uh, British Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi in the diaspora, to uh, remit money yeah. home. Yeah. And they yeah. set up. Um, they set, they, he talked about setting up a specific bank to do that to make mm -hmm. it more more transparent and easier. So, mm -hmm. so we are we're engaged. So that is issue clear um, indication. You were working for the people there. I have to say your call for Manchester, very eloquent about some of the eloquent, problems yeah. facing Bangladesh. And you should think about if you're not already involved in politics, you should think about. Mm -hmm. Uh, getting involved. Obviously, we prefer yeah. it to be with us. But yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. I will, I will come back. I will come back. Or maybe you can comments. continue. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Kola. Hello, Alaikum Salam. Can I put a question, please? Please. What's yes, my, my, my question is to all of your guests. Uh, these various uh, friends of Bangladesh come in different, with different names and shapes and sizes. Can they list uh, 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 some achievements that they've, that they've done? Uh, that can be, we can be proud of that what they've done uh, for Bangladesh uh, as them being friends of Bangladesh. Individually, I'd like to, all, all of them to list uh, a single, single thing that they've done so that they can call themselves friends of Bangladesh. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, okay, Maizan, I think I, I understand what the question was. Uh, brother, we don't have sufficient time for this segment. Definitely, we'll come back and we'll give the answer. Slamik with the shock up on the shirt again after the by question could send out and surprise of an other third segment day. the friends of Bangladesh and their policies and we will talk about their success and then and the relationship here as well locally and nationally 
আপনারা জানেন কিছু কলার তাদের কোশ্চেন তুলছেন সেগুলো নিয়ে কথা বলবো আর শুরু করার আগে আপনাদের আবার স্মরণ করে দিতে যাচ্ছি এই সপ্তাহের যে কুইজ সেটা হলো what date was the treaty of versailles signed that was on 28 june 1919 on 28 july 1919 or 11th december 1919 after after uttar pathe diben abar email address dekhte paben tv corner e pnb at channel i europe dot tv uh, well gentlemen if i'll go from right side actually if i start uh, from uh, howard uh, as you know it's, it's there is lots of query from the people as well and they were asking about the achievement and from both sides actually it's a little, little bit criticism from the uh, caller uh, so many people they think it's a conservative friends of bangladesh and labor friends of bangladesh just a photo session sometimes they go to a nice hot spicy curry dinner and goes to a local bengali media newspaper and and, and tvs we got six seven tvs and these are the limitations but monetary value or if it's, it's a real value there's nothing and just a group of people they work together and and then for their interest how do you defend that shall i go um i was going to say um what you see quite often on tv is um events you see the conservative friends of bangladesh doing an event mm -hmm. um you see us doing an event and you say well that's nice they're in a curry restaurant and they're talking to tv cameras but what you don't see is the things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis week in week out mm -hmm. where uh, we, for example, go uh, campaigning in seats around the country where there is a, a big Bangladeshi population in by-elections. And we go and we talk to Bangladeshi people there because, you know, it's really important, whatever political party you're from, not to take Absolutely. those votes for granted and to engage with people. And it's true, you can't say, you know, the whole Bangladeshi population is going to vote one way or the other way. Um, what I will say is the Bangladeshi population does vote because Bangladeshi people, quite often, they're running businesses, they've got families, um, they've got a real stake in society and it's a community that does vote um, and the votes are important and uh, one of the things that we want to do is make sure that the, the importance of that half a million population is heard at the highest level of government. That people say this is a population we need to listen to, we need to um, work in their interests and we need to uh, pay uh, respect to the Bangladeshi population. So that is the that is the very that's, important thing, obviously. That's people a core message for us. Thing, honestly. That, um, and that's as the long as, as, long as you have... Well. I mean, you know, you've heard us fighting today, um, uh, and debating. in a sense, and um, sorry, debating. Debating. You've heard us. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, Howard. Again, and I got the call actually, and I will come back maybe. Assalamualaikum, caller. Hello. Oh, I think it's lost. Uh, but uh, I, was, I was just to finish. You heard us debating today, but this is a healthy thing because if we're out saying to uh, Ed Miliband and to. Douglas Alexander and to Chuka Amuna, you must take the Bangladeshi community seriously. Come and talk to uh, the BCA, for example. Come and engage with the Bangladesh uh, business people. Then that's good. If they're talking to David Cameron and George Osborne, saying the same thing, that's good too. Okay, I will come back to Mohsin. What is your? Give me three or four lists that says that people can see as a visible or or they can feel it that achievement. Okay, look, I mean. Uh, I said, I mean, we, we've gone to like Ealing, uh, we've been to Kilburn, Colby, uh, Croydon, Norwich, Oldham. We're trying to help, and we helped a lot of MPs who became uh, MPs during the elections, and they became friends of Bangladesh. What I'm saying, they're friends of Bangladesh. Yeah. So an issue about Bangladesh, you know that they will be with, on, on our side to ensure that uh, we, could, we could get them. We've also got MPs hosting events, Independence Day event, which Douglas was there in Parliament, so to celebrate the independence of Bangladesh. So we're trying to make sure that, uh, that, that, that the Bangladeshi issues, the Bangladeshi, uh, the cultural stuff are at the heart of, of uh, the politics. One of my, I think, the achievements, you could say, uh, my own personal achievements, uh, while I was a politician here, was uh, to take a group of uh, delegations to Bangladesh to do a twinning with the Bangladesh Olympic uh, Committee. So, okay, uh, so I, I kind of did a, um, we, we signed a twinning with Bangladesh Olympic Association, with General Mubin, who's the president of the Bangladesh Olympic Association, about how we could make sure that uh, the Olympians that uh, are com com coming here, we were host for, uh, and, uh, as a first citizen and the mayor at that time, I went and basically did the twinning with some of the officers and, and with Kenny Wolf uh, also. I mean, during when you were a councillor that I was time. a councillor mm -hmm. okay. at that time. All right. That. So I'll I did that and that allowed the Olympians to come early and also have facilities, access to facilities. All right. Assalamualaikum, Kola. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, can I speak to Howard, please? Yes, you Hello. can. Could you tell me name, Hello. please? 
Hello. Hello, my name is Ali Heda from Newcastle. All right. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, Howard. Hi. Yes, all the way, brother, Newcastle. Okay. Newcastle. Maybe you've got, you've got a good friend of Bangladesh, actually. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I'm going to question which is Howard sitting there. It's a nice young man. Uh, it's very nice to see everyone together. And the question is, in the last uh, never conference, it never leader says, it's going to be increased when they, if they go to the power, they will increase in a minimum wise. My question to you, just minutely told, it's a 12,000 restaurants in uh, Bengal, especially the owner of Bengal. So, how they can survive if they minimum wise is going to be increased, how they can keep open the soap, which is they cannot afford to pay now and work to tax which is no income who getting now, how they get benefit on it? If you describe about that, about why uh, that's what never leader says. Hmm. Did you okay, um, I think I think I, I think I got the the message on uh, on tax increases, um, and I think um, the Labour Party, particularly in the uh, run up to the next general election, there's a number of uh, policies coming out which are designed to support small businesses, um, reducing regulation. Uh, providing more business support uh, and in fact uh, I'm part of a team uh, within the Labour Party and partly because of uh, Labour Friends of Bangladesh um, involved in setting up a, a new agency, the, a new uh, small business agency uh, which will be um, a supportive uh, voice uh, for uh, small businesses in government. Um, because we think uh, too, of, too often it feels like government's trying to do things to you. Uh, how yeah, I want to. I want to. I, personally, I want to keep business taxes down as low as they possibly can go, because um, right at the moment, um, you know, it's tough. It's tough out there oh. um, for businesses uh, because of the actions of this conservative government. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we want to keep. We want to <laughs> keep taxes. When is tax we want to keep tax low. We also want to make it easier so that if people want to bring Bangladeshi chefs from Bangladesh to the UK. We had a specific policy that you could do that in the that's, under the last Labour government. That's Howard. Now actually, Howard, that's been reversed I, 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 by I, I, these guys. Yes, as, 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 just, as, just, as, just to make uh, the uh, the caller aware as well. Under under the uh, Labour government, and, and I will come back to the original point about friends of Bangladesh as well and what we do. Under the Labour government, every single family was fourteen hundred pound worst off per year. When this, the, the when, uh, when this, the this is, uh, if you check the uh, IFS tax and benefits reform uh, uh, under Labour, page 24, April 7, 2010, under the under Labour government, uh, um, families uh, were 1,400 pounds worse off, worse off under a uh, Labour government. Under a Labour government, if, uh, then, even in, what than they are now. Then they are now, correct. I, yeah. I, I think then that they are comes now. as a quite a shock to everybody in the country. Then they are now. So I don't you, think can, everybody you can feels, check, you can check your, you can check your stats. Feels under under, the under a Labour government, there'll be a new business tax, there'll be a new tax on farm, there'll be a new tax on football fans as well. There's there's none there, of these, there none are, these things are true. Yeah, there, 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 there yeah. are. There We're going to reverse the bedroom tax, a mansion, for example. There's a mansion tax which you've basically said that It'll be well, only applied to how, how no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. There are discussions within the Labour Party that no, says are. that they no, will be, there will be uh, discussions houses, the, uh, properties the taxed that are £400,000 no, plus no, up no. Never happened. There are, there are discussions never at this moment. You Not obviously true. don't know your facts on this. No, no, I know the facts. So, so, so only Labour is the party of tax. Labour is the party of tax, Martin. But, yeah, you know, this... Look, look, I think what we have to realise is that, you know, over the years, what has happened is that some of the taxes, that, uh, the increases on VAT and things like that, those, those, those are hitting the people that are least able to afford, you know, people on low income. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would only say, look, I mean, I, one of the things that I realized over the last, uh, you know, a num number of years, the Conservative Party is a party that stands with the millionaires. So if you're a millionaire, no, rich people, then I think, true. yes, it's, it's, it's clearly, it's you could see that you benefit from that. Think, wait, you, may own, also, you may own a mansion. Uh, uh, is it? You, is how, it we, know, we know that's not true. How, how do you how do defend his... Well, 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 his well, well, uh, I haven't finished. Can I just, uh, just say two seconds? Can. So you could, you could be a millionaire and therefore you, and also have a mansion. So therefore, no. a mansion tax might apply to you. I think you know you might uh, be an well, a, ma a mansion costing yeah, four hundred thousand yeah, pounds. Yeah, 
Yeah, two million. Two million. Two no, so 400,000 no, pounds. No, 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 that's, that's, no, that's, 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 made, up. Fact, that's a made up thing. Not, two million is a figure we said. How do you have... Yeah. You've got yeah. energy companies. Yeah. Look, energy, so look everybody guys, is a friend of energy companies because he's going he's gonna to try to make sure that uh, they will make huge Ed, profit at the Ed voted yeah. against the not, fuel no, stabiliser as well. Ed voted against the fuel stabiliser. We, we wanted to introduce a fuel stabiliser. Ed voted against that. He, uh, instead, what he said is that he will continue to increase fuel duty when he comes into power. We introduced the fuel uh, duty stabiliser. Ed voted against it. And we, uh, we know this. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, 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 if we were able to... Yeah. Yeah. You Under can check your facts. You oh, can check your facts. Both of check your facts. I will move a little bit other way. Obviously, you both of our good friends of Bangladesh. So my asking is, as you know, lots of friends of your labor friends of India, labor friends of Israel, labor friends of yeah. uh, Pakistan, and so many, so many. Mm -hmm. At the oh. same time, you know, conservative friends of Israel, conservative friends of India, Pakistan, so many. If you see in, 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 in the government, actually, in politics, business, in education, in compare with the BME communities, say Indian, uh, Indian, even, well, now the Chinese are coming as in politics, Indian, Pakistanis, they are far better than Bangladeshi communities. So why do you think Bangladeshi people are behind than other, other, other two nations just next to Bangladesh, actually? Can I, can I answer that, Azambay? And if you see the more number of MP, how many MP you got from Bangladeshi? Well, is it only one? So far. How many MP from Pakistani origin? How many MPs from oh, course, Indian sir. origin? Look, how many uh, MPs? So look, the, my question is, guys, what are you playing? I mean, what is your role to... How can you increase this thing more MP? Say, uh, uh, Mehfuz Bhai was asking, and you were asking, actually, Labour, you got only one MP. You don't have any MP even at all. No. From mm. the, yeah. yeah. So how can you increase this one? How can you bring your boys bigger and bigger let, like other uh, friends are doing? Let, yeah. me, let me go back to the, the, the original point about what conservative friends of Bangladesh, you, you asked for specific points about our achievements. Um, well, uh, let's, let's set aside politics for a moment. Yeah, Conservative Friends of Bangladesh, one of the things that we are doing, let's not forget the Bangladeshi community in this country is also deprived. Half a million people, yes, we are also, you know, a vast majority of this population is in uh, 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 social housing, unemployment is, 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 is high. Is yeah, but the, and the flip side of it is that Bangladeshis are also doing very, very well in business, commerce, yeah. industry. What we as a party, and what I'm really proud of about the Conservative Party and Conservative Friends of Bangladesh, is the grassroots work that we're doing with the deprived community. You ask me how. For example, uh, we, you know, we're, we're, we're working on various different spectrums. One of the uh, ways that we're working on is we're doing a lot of social action projects in the UK as well, working with organizations like London Tigers, the uh, Future Focus Network. This, these are organizations that help, uh, that help deprived communities and deprived youth and, and, and uh, who, who, you know, who, who want to increase their aspirations as well. And we're also tapping in to organizations like London Tigers and, 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 and helping them as well. Um, not only that, on the business side of things, we're, we're, we're about to launch Conservative Friends of Bangladesh Business Club as well, which will hopefully allow us to work directly with British Bangladeshi businesses in the UK and allow them to give, give them a network platform as well, take, take their, their views and their worries and especially and take that directly to government as well. That's good. Uh, thank you, Abdus. Bye. Uh, I got a caller. Slava Kum caller. Hello, Slava Kum caller. I think we lost. Okay. Uh, hello? Hello, Slava Kum? Hello, Slava Kum call. I think it's, it's, it's lost. Uh, uh, if I go to, obviously we had three questions from the caller. I think one we, we more or less covered. Uh, the one was question, the first question was, obviously you are uh, conservative friends of Bangladesh, labor friends of Bangladesh, they're the major party in this country and you are running country hundreds of hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So there is obviously, as, as again I need to mention, you, both of you work for the people of Bangladesh and the same time who are in the Bang in, in UK. Yeah. There is only and only executive mayor in this country from the Bengali community in Tower Hamlets. So the question was, is it coordinated attack from both of you? You want to eliminate him and you want to get rid of just, you are not working for the Bengali people instead of your party machine or party. 
benefit? I mean, I, I think it's, I mean, obviously, clearly that's not true because okay, of course. I think we, we take pride in every, everybody in every position. Mm. And I think what is the most important thing is to make sure that when people give you that gift of uh, responsibility, and that comes with huge responsibility. Huge responsibility. Because when you are the elected you know, mayor or MP, how you, you know, discharge your responsibility and how the reputation you build because if you if you do really well, then you you become the pride and you become the model for their everybody else. So do you believe this? So what, 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 what I'm saying is, is so we have a huge responsibility, uh, and I think what, what, our, what, our what is important for us. I mean, clearly, uh, it's uh, you know it's something that uh, you know people in the in the people of the borough will judge, uh, and I think we shouldn't you know just judge people just by uh, hearing or reading something. Yeah. But people in this said, country, obviously people, you people have here very good idea because you, you are living in Tarham place, yeah, you were a councillor, obviously the mayor, I mean, he was once, he was the part I mean, of the I mean, as well. I mean, as, as a politician, I mean, I had whatever advice I needed to give, I gave, uh, and, and clearly uh, I, I'm slightly disappointed to, with, with the Price Waterhouse report, which, you know, clearly uh, uh, has been a shock to me in, in, in uh, what, it, what has unearthed. But the reality is, you know, it's for the people of the para to judge, and, and that's something that people do. And people judge people through the ballot boxes. All right, Mr. Howard. Uh, as you mentioned, you, you were uh, predominantly some Bengali people that support labor. You got lots of people as well. You got lots of trouble as well. As you know, Mr. Mayor, he was your party leader, and I have seen just two, three days ago on uh, uh, YouTube, actually, where is, is in Manchester. You, this current mayor, he was with uh, all of these big leaders as a uh, prince of Bangladesh. Now he is independent mayor or, or different mayor. So do you think this, that the caller was asking, is it sort of, well, is it attack as, as Mothin Bhai was telling, no, it's not, or, or he was mentioning this at the report as well. So what is your opinion as a... I, I'm sure you know him. I, and, and I, I do, I do. And obviously, you know, members of uh, Lutfus cabinet have been... Uh, supported by and uh, promoted by the Labour Party in the in the past, it was the Labour Party that created the platform. Um, I don't want to talk about the detail of uh, of the PwC reports or or indeed the uh, Eric Pickles' uh, response to it. Um, partly because through my job, I work in Tower Hamlets and I have to get on with everybody. And you know, there are good people on all sides of this, and I don't want to I don't want to get into that. Um, what I would say is that. Um, yes, um, we have uh, the first Bengali executive mayor in Tower Hamlets, but before that, we had the first Bengali council leader. Um, no, and then we had the first, the second Bengali council leader. You have, leader. as I said, you And then we had the first Bengali council leader, team. Nassim Ali, in Camden. It and then we've got the first Bengali chief finance officer uh, uh, in, in Older. Definitely, how um, You've got lots of so people, you know lots what? of support. No, Obviously, it, you will have lots of support. The, you will the, have the, the, idea, the, idea, the idea that the Labour Party. First Bengali MP, first Bengali council leader, first Bengali mayor, first Bengali baroness Bengali 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 as well. First Bengali baroness. Baroness. First, first, first baroness Bengali. as well, but she, she is not a party member. member. She's not going to go to jail as well. That's, that's as a first baroness um, as well. That's, that's <laughs> not that's not that close. Um, the first Bengali assembly. Is it the first member, baroness? The first well? Bengali <laughs> member of parliament. The first Bengali shadow minister. Howard. How, oh, right. the, the accusation that the Labour Party is somehow racist against Bangladeshi people, you know, I think we can put that to bed straight away. Okay. Because the Labour Party has always been the party I don't, I don't that's promoted and supported. That's fine. Thank you, Howard. I will come no, back sorry. to you. I, I, I don't, your, yeah. party, your party, you don't have, well, he has big list, hundreds of councillors, at least one PMP, one MP, one Baroness, well, she's not now here, one uh, mayor, current mayor, he was the party member or, or a leader. What do you have? You have nothing. Let, let's 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 be. I mean, yeah. There's there's no denying that. I mean, you know, as Howard has obviously barreled off names, there there is no denying within the Conservative Party that yes, we we do have a uh, a, a situation here where you know there aren't enough Bangladeshi candidates, but we have had candidates. Zakir Khan. Uh, uh, who has been a candidate? Mina Rahman, who is a candidate. Mina Rahman, who is a candidate for. Uh, let me let me finish as well. Mina Rahman, who is a, ca a candidate as well. But under the under the stewardship of the Labour Party, uh, Halal Abbas, who was the uh, party leader, mm -hmm. we also had the first well, well, Bangladeshi councillors who actually were convicted of fraud as well, effectively, and they went to jail under his. Uh, you know, so so okay, things effectively. No, I don't want to go down that. We don't want to go down that route as well. Okay, but effectively, all right. You know, Okay, so, that's so fine. It's a long story. I will ask you I, I, I a very, so very, very okay. short question. As a chairman, what is the advice for the people of Bangladesh? How that, the, that, that the Conservative Party is changing. Yeah. We, simple, we as a group, long. Conservative Friends of Bangladesh, we are working with the Bangladeshi community to make awareness that the party 
uh, had the values of, of, of the Bangladeshis. And as a result, you know, you should get involved, not just the Labour Party. That's okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, so, I have, I have okay, uh, if I had time, I could give you. Mr. Awad, the chairman, what uh, is your message to a, the Bangladeshi people? My quick message people? is, uh, when it comes to the next election, uh, you, you need to look at the party who will support uh, better housing, support um, reversing benefits cuts, getting rid of the bedroom tax, supporting the National Health Service. Sorry, how are, small say, business. What, what are you asking for uh, I'm saying LFOB? So, so, oh, f uh, yeah. I'm saying uh, LFOB, join, join uh, Labour, <laughs> uh, support Labour Friends of Bangladesh, um, and together uh, we can get rid of this terrible to okay. Tory government and bring back a government that Understand. understands yes. Bangladeshi people Understand. and will fight for your interests. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, both of you, brother. Thank you, Mutin Bhai. Shupriya Darshak, after I should learn both sides, that both of them are actually Bangladeshi friends of Bangladesh, that they have the policy go to different tax people, but I must be sure that they Kasko to say Bangladesh, Manushi Jono, Ebong Zara Kana said Tadir Jono, after a either joint government, Amabisha, after the Google Jan, among other website as a get involved with them and make Bangali Bangladeshi people boys harder and harder and bigger. After Amad Shonga Thakbin, next program of their Ahmed by Thakbin, our Ek John MP Astasen, or to share with Arab Halabul to Barbin, among the Bangladeshi people. Slamikum.